A Fernandina Beach favorite is among four local restaurants back open after being temporarily forced to shut down. News for Jack's Emily Boyer is here. Emily, inspectors found roaches at three restaurants and then sewage leaking at the fourth. Some disgusting details there. Yeah, they're, they're not very good sounding here, Vic. And the violations this week are all over the board. Roaches leaking toilet paper water. And of course, what's a restaurant report without an exact count of rodent droppings? Starting with the well-reviewed and beloved surf restaurant bar and beach motel in Fernandina Beach. This seafood restaurant was closed for five days after a routine inspection found 18 live roaches and eight dead ones on October 15th. The restaurant posted on social media that it was closed due to plumbing issues. There may have been plumbing issues, but they were not noted in neither the first or second inspection. The surf is open again after two follow-up inspections. Urban Grind Coffee was closed with over 10 violations, including 30 rodent droppings that were found. Quick to correct, the downtown coffee house reopened the next day with a near perfect inspection. 41 dead roaches and 10 live ones kept the Sea Oats Cafe in St. Augustine closed for a full week. It first closed October 11th. The report shows a total of 13 violations, including live roaches. It reopened this Monday after a passing inspection. It was raw sewage that closed the McDonald's on Atlantic Boulevard in Regency that same day. An inspector wrote that they found gray water with water with toilet paper leaking from a mobile bathroom and there was no hand washing sink. A note in the report says the in-building restrooms were closed because they were being renovated. The McDonald's reopened Monday after fixing those issues. I'm also learning that a restaurant from last week's restaurant report is still closed from rodent droppings. You can find that update on News for Jackson. Back to you.